Go on guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the rear discs, pads and also a caliper on the rear of a Nissan Qashqai. This is a 2011 model and just down over here is all my bits that I'm about to fit into this vehicle right now. Alright, the first thing you can see is the steel on steel on the disc. That is from the outer pad and the other side, the pads aren't half as bad. It has locked on pretty much or it's very difficult to turn, just completely jammed. So this caliper needs to be replaced. I'm going to start by loosening off these bolts here, which hold the caliper into the cradle itself. And then I will be backing off these bolts up here. And when I have a bit of cleaning done, I'll tell you what sizes those are. All right, so I got my clamp here on the flexible brake hose here, 12 mil, 14 mil, and I'm gonna remove the caliper first of all. Just removing this here on the inside there, there'll always be a copper washer. So just make sure that you don't lose that if you're reusing the same one again. As I showed my clamp up here and then just take those out so this is ready to uh, to come out now I just need to back that out get the washer and take the rest of that bolt out have the caliper off now and I'm in at the cradle bolts and they're 17 mil top and bottom I would uh, strongly advise using a hex head socket make sure it's 6 point not 12 point if there's any corrosion uh, on the edges of them the top one on this one was particularly bad so um, six point and I have it tapped on and I have it loosened away now so I'll take that off and then we'll go to the front side here and if the shoes are catching and it's not removing back what you'll want to do is locate the adjusting part of the shoes and this little uh, rubber plug here needs to be removed and then you will back off the tension of the shoes until the disc can come off so we'll take off this cradle first see if it'll come back if it won't we find the locating point for adjustment, take that plug out and just wind them back. So for this next part, I'll be just using a small uh, screwdriver to take out the rubber bung, then a dead blow hammer to take the disc off and then a pin light to see where the adjustment is. You can see in there, that's where the adjustment is. I just need to back that off and I'll be using this tool here to do that. The disc is now off and you can see right up there is the actual adjustment. And I used this snap-on dead blow hammer to knock off the disc. And this is the, you can see how bad that is there. That's the pads and that's the cradle. I need to clean that up and grease so the pads will move nice and freely on that as well. When you're putting the disc back on, you'll just adjust this again out to where it's tight enough to move, but not where it's seizing on it. So it wants to be spinning freely with a little bit of friction on it. That's the ideal tension you will have on that. And then these shoes will bed in to the new surfaces over the next few hundred miles. So I'm just gonna put on the disc now and adjust it. So fitting the new disc, the adjustment in here, you just go in and ratchet it up. So we push in here and we lever up to adjust it and you want to get that where it's just tight but it can move freely. So there's just a bit of friction on it. like that so that's adjusted now I'm going to put that back in and I'm going to refit the uh, rest of the items now pads are fitted now and the shoes are all adjusted uh, one thing to mention see the top ends of the pads here like that if they're not fitting in freely make sure you shave them some manufacturers uh, have really thick coating on uh, on the edges where it slides so you will have to grind off a bit what you don't want is to be uh, hammering in the pad to the uh, to the point of where it's actually seized it needs to be able to move freely inner and outer and if it 
if it has heavy restriction when it's moving it's not going to be any good and will jam over time so you're going to need to take a file or a binge grinder and shave the edges of that uh, use copper grease or uh, whatever equivalent you have of brake grease to to make it uh, slide in and out nice and free and then you will be ready to fit the caliper after that but that happens quite a lot the coatings on them i've seen them at all different brands um, so it's not just related to mintex or blue point or apec or whatever they all have they all have similar similar issues so just make sure that that's free and then move on to uh, to the next stage after that this is all back together now and the brakes are bled so this job is now complete I won't be showing how to do the brake bleed. There's tons of videos up there on uh, on that. If you want to check any of those out, you will know how to bleed the brakes after you, you replace the caliper. Uh, any other thing of note is any tools I've used. I will link any ones I can find in the description. So I just took it for a road test and everything is all good. The Nissan Qashqai brake work on the rear is now all back together and completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like like, share, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.